So picture this, it's my first year of teaching and it's two weeks too early to be setting up my classroom, but I don't care, I am excited about what's before me. So I open the door and I step inside and I look over and there is this giant barricade of desks and tables all stacked on top of each other. There are boxes filled with who knows what and I am overwhelmed with what's before me. I'm not sure how I'm going to set up this space and I look over at the teacher's desk and there is a giant gift basket with a big red bow on top. So I walk over, I untie the bow and I look at the little note that says from your mentor teacher. And inside this gift basket is every possible school supply that I could never afford on a first year teacher salary. There are the Astro Bright papers that will burn your eyes off and there are the Mr. Sketch markers where every time you uncap the marker, it brings you back to that nostalgic moment of smelling each and every one of those smelly markers. And there's the sticky notes with every color imaginable and there's enough of the dry erase markers to last an entire school year. But it turned out the best part of this gift basket was at the very bottom. There was a card about this big and it read, new teacher card. It was laminated, of course, but on the back there was a note and it read, play this card every time you mess up. Every time that you don't know where things go or how to do things, Play this card as a reminder to ask for help. Play this card when you miss a meeting, or you don't grade every paper, or you feel like your lessons aren't working. Play this card on those dumpster fire days where you wonder, am I even supposed to be a teacher? And remember, you are an educator. Play this card as a reminder that students don't need perfect. They need you in all of your glorious imperfections. This card is your permission to experiment and to learn from your mistakes. It's your reminder that growth is about iteration rather than just inspiration. It's a reminder that success is about faithfulness and not just results. I played that new teacher card over and over and over again. I played that card when I messed up and I yelled at my class, although I called it raising my voice, but it was yelling. I played that card when I had four lessons in a row that completely tanked. I played that card when a parent yelled at me and I was so overwhelmed and I held it in and I just began to cry in my car asking, am I cut out for this job? Now fast forward to my second year of teaching. I'm clearing out the classroom space, reorganizing my school supplies, and I notice that card again laminated sitting there on my desk. But this time I noticed something I hadn't seen before. Under the spot that read name, there was an expiration date and next to it, it read never. I wasn't sure what to think about it at the time. It seemed odd. But then I began to think about this notion of never expiring. The truth is I still felt like a new teacher. And so I played it again my second year. And then I played it again my third year and then my fourth year. And then in my fifth year, I gave it to my student teacher. But I still continued to play the new teacher card, even if I didn't physically have it with me. Because the truth is, I will always be a new teacher. Because every year is a new group with new students, new situations, new experiences, a new community we will form. And I want to lean into using new practices as well. I've had so many times when I felt like this brand new teacher when I began to teach self-contained all subjects and I was like, I feel like a new teacher all over again. Or when I moved up to the university level, working with pre-service teachers and I felt like I'm a new teacher all over again. 
or when I began to teach virtually and I wasn't sure what I was doing and I felt like a new teacher all over again. Or during the COVID years when we were socially isolated and nothing felt normal anymore and I felt like a new teacher all over again. And I've learned that being a new teacher isn't about the years that you've taught. It's about a mindset. It's a mindset that says, I will continue to learn from my mistakes. I will try new things. See, the new teacher card is an invitation to innovation. If we think about it this way, looking at this flow chart, am I sure this will work? And if the answer is yes, I get the status quo. And there's nothing wrong with the status quo. There are things that we do and we should continue to do year after year. But if the answer is no, we get innovation. If the answer is yes, we get best practices. If the answer is no, we get next practices. And the new teacher mindset is that overlap between best practices and next practices. I never want to stop being a new teacher.